Hello friends, welcome to my video. Today I am going to talk about the difference between the equality operator that is double equal sign and dot equals method in C sharp. This is one of the favorite interviewer questions in the C sharp interview and also an important concept we should know. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. So here we are going to talk about the difference between double equal sign and equals method in C sharp. The equality operator double equal sign checks whether two operands are equal or not. Whereas the object dot equals method checks whether the two object instances are equal or not. Okay, let's try to understand with the help of examples shown over here. So example number one for value tax variable comparison, the equal operator and the dot equals method compare the values of the two built in value type variables. If both values are equals, then returns true, otherwise return false. So here, if you see the examples, int a is equal to five, b is equal to five, c is equal to 10. And then what I'm doing, I'm just printing a, b, c into the console. And that's what I have written console dot write line a, a, b, b, c, c like this. Okay, and then what I'm going to do in next two statement, I'm just going to use double equal operator and the dot equals method for comparison to value type variables int a is equal to five and b is equal to five. And that's what I have written console dot write line a equal equal b outcome a equal equal b. So basically here I'm going to use this double equal operator for comparison a and b. And next statement, so here I'm just going to do comparison with the help of dot equals method. And if you see the outcome, it is giving the true value for both the operation, whether we are going ahead with the double equal operator or dot equals method, both are giving the true value because here we are going to compare the value. So a is equal to five and b is equal to five value is five in both the variables. So that's what double equal operator and the equals method are giving us the value as a true right okay and if you see c value is 10 and when we are going to compare with a with c it is going to give us the value as a false whether we are going to use the double equal operator or dot equal method if you see a equal double a double equal c it is giving us false a dot equal c it is also giving us false value right so basically the value type variable comparison we are going to compare with the values instead of instance okay if the values are equal then it is just going to give us the true value otherwise returns as a false value okay now see the another example for reference type variables comparisons so double equal operator and dot equals method by default compare whether two object instances are equal or not however for a string type they compare values instead of the instances okay let's see the example shown over here here what i am doing i am just creating instances of implied two times so imply obj1 is equal to new imply obj1 dot imply name is equal to ravi so basically ravi value i have assigned to its property imply name okay for the object one similarly i have created another object imply obj2 is equal to new imply and here also imply name i am assigning the value as a ravi only but here obj1 and obj2 are two different instances of the imply class right and when we are going to compare obj1 with the obj2 with the help of the double equal operator so it is giving us the value as false similarly obj1 dot equals obj2 it is also giving us the false value but if you see i am just going to create an another instance imply obj3 and here what i am doing i am just assigning obj1 value to it so basically obj3 is going to point to obj1 only and when we are going to compare obj1 with the obj3 it is giving us the true value with the equality operator and also with the dot equals method so that's what if you see this statement console dot write line obj1 is equal to obj3 it is giving us true value and obj1 dot equals obj3 it is also giving us the true value so so keep in mind so whenever we are going to compare the reference type it just compare with the instances if the instances are equal then it is just going to give us the true value otherwise it will return as a false value but there is an exception for the string type a string even though it is a reference type but it compares with the values instead of the instances okay so here we are going to see the example number three 
the double equal operator handles null value but dot equals throws the null reference exception when we are going to compare with the null values okay so let's see the example shown over here a string s1 is equal to null and object o2 is equal to microsoft and when we are going to compare with the s1 with the o2 with the double equal operator it is giving us a false value so basically s1 is a null o2 is equal to microsoft both are not equal so it is just giving us a false value whereas when we are going to compare s1 with the o2 and we write s1 dot equals o2 it is just going to throw null reference exception and that's what if you see the exception thrown system dot null reference exception object reference not set to an instance and object and here it is mentioning s1 was null and that's what equals method are not going to handle the null instead it just throws null reference exception so we need to keep in mind this difference so whenever we are going to use dot equals make sure that we check the operand that we are going to compare okay both are having the non null value otherwise it will throw null reference exception now that brings me to end of my session to sum up in this video we saw the difference between the equality operator and dot equal methods in c sharp so I hope you must be having now a clear understanding about this concept. That's all for this video guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.